Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Motivation. <laughs> On this week's episode of Monday Motivation, I want to tell you about how you can make daily videos. But before we hop into that, I want to answer a question from a viewer that I got on my last episode. Remember, if you ever have any questions about motivation, about productivity, creativity, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'm always very happy to answer them. Just pause the video right now, write it down in the comments, and then jump back in. I'll wait for you. All right, now that you've written your comment, let's see what Melinda has to say. Melinda writes, thanks for your video, Catherine. I think the comparison issue is one of the reasons I'm delayed in making my own YouTube channel. I've tried to start a number of times and I just don't feel like I have anything more valuable to say that hasn't already been said. Who else can relate to that? Come on, we've all had that feeling. But I really strongly believe that no matter how common your topic is, no matter how many other YouTubers or bloggers have talked about your niche before, you still have something valuable and unique to add to the conversation. Let's say the topic is vlogging. That's something that I talk about a lot. And clearly there's lots of other people that provide advice about vlogging. I think of Sarah Dietschy or video influencers or like all these different channels that are more tech oriented and that have a lot of subscribers and a lot of fancy equipment and teach people how to make videos. And so I could easily feel like, oh, there's so many other channels out there that are making videos about this. I don't have anything to add. I'm no expert. I haven't been doing it for as long. I don't have as many subscribers. But the fact of the matter is there are so many other aspects involved that do make my perspective an added value to the conversation because it you know, comes from a different experience. For instance, I'm somebody who has been making videos on YouTube since it was a very different place back in like 2008, but I'm still a small channel. So I have the perspective of a small YouTuber who's kind of been a part of the community for a long time, which tends to not be as common because people get subscribers faster than me usually. But I'm also someone that comes to the conversation that's interested in vlogging from like a tech and videography perspective rather than say somebody like Tim Schmoyer who is another very you know popular person in the vlogging and teaching sphere and he comes from background of family vlogging. Another thing that I think is kind of lacking in the tech and like YouTube community where um, there's people you know teaching other people how to make videos, teaching other people how to grow their YouTube channels there seems to be a stark lack of women in those communities. I mean, if you think of a lot of the big people who like give advice about entrepreneurship and YouTube, you think of like Gary Vaynerchuk, Casey Neistat, Chase Jarvis, like Tim Schmoyer, all of those other people that have those sort of like techie, businessy YouTube channels are pretty much all men. So I think that's another um, aspect of my perspective that adds something to the conversation. I could go on for a long time about all the particulars of why my videos aren't just a stamp, like identical replica of what other people are making in my area. Uh, but the point is, no matter what your topic is, you're always going to bring a little something different to the table as long as you're being yourself. If you're trying to copy other people or just redoing their videos, basically, obviously it's not going to be different. But if you stay true to your own passion and, you know, your own personality, then inevitably you are going to have something different to say that hasn't been said before, or you'll say it in a different way. A lot of the times I think I'm covering the same topics that many other like tech and videography and YouTube channel are talking about. But I think because of who I am as like a young woman who's chill, doesn't really come across as like an intimidating expert, uh, that that way I'm more accessible to different people that might not feel like they can relate to somebody like a Tim Schmoyer or whoever. So think about that. Think about like who your audience could be, who could you relate to, because I think that's a big thing in making your content unique. You can't necessarily cater to the exact same audience that's going to watch the other channels in your niche, but you could because people are interested in watching more than one YouTube channel about the same thing. I've been talking for a long time now, but what I want to get across is that you don't have to be concerned about not having anything new to say because I can guarantee that you do have a unique perspective and something new to bring to the table in whatever your community or subject area is. All right, thanks so much for the question, Melinda. Remember everybody, you can leave your questions below in the comments and I'll answer it next week. 
Now let's move on to the topic of the week, which is daily videos. I talked about this before on my channel back in like December, I made a video about why daily vlogging is good for your creativity. Yes, but it forces you to make something every single day. I think this is so important. I kind of talked about this before in my Create Every Day November challenge. Basically at the beginning of November, I challenged myself to spend at least an hour every single day working on YouTube. This has been incredibly useful to me because look, I've made two videos a week and I'm pretty proud of how all of them have turned out. And I think that it's really, really useful at just keeping that passion alive and making sure that you work on it every day. But today I just wanted to come back and reiterate the huge value that creating daily content can have both for your YouTube channel and for your own productivity and creativity. I'm currently at a place with my channel where I am pretty committed to posting five times a week, though sometimes I miss the mark when I don't have the Wi-Fi I need. I would love to move to daily though just because I think it has that even added extra impact to your channel and to your creativity when you really make that commitment to having a video go online every single day. The reason why it's so great for your channel is for one, the YouTube algorithm hugely advantages content that is consistent. If you put out a video every single day, that is gonna start showing up in all of your people's sub boxes. It'll show up in the related videos, YouTube likes when you upload a lot. The other big advantage is that for your subscribers, watching your daily videos will become like a part of their routine. If we think about any daily vloggers that we personally follow, say Casey Neistat, if you're a really you know, dedicated viewer, you probably have some sort of routine where you watch them every day at breakfast or whatever. You are committed to seeing every single one of those videos. Um, and that kind of commitment only grows when you know you can rely on someone to upload every single day. So if you wanna grow that loyalty and commitment with your audience, then you being reliable first will cause them to be reliable with their viewing. The reason why it's so awesome for creativity is because it gets you into a routine of creation. It can be so easy to say to ourselves, oh, I'm not feeling inspired, I'm not feeling motivated, I'm not gonna make a video today, I don't have anything to say. But if you force yourself to create, even though you don't feel like it, you're gonna go to a new level of creativity because I think creativity is heightened when you have limitations and time pressures and you need to really get creative with what you're making to make sure that it happens. You'll start thinking of new ideas that you never would have considered before and thinking of new ways to turn your everyday life into content that's useful for your audience. Overall, I think daily vlogging or just daily videos in general is a great thing to do if you have the time and really want to commit to your YouTube channel. And there are lots of ways to make the time. I know making daily videos might sound crazy um, and it can be really difficult when you have a full-time job and other major commitments. But as a point of encouragement, um, since December, I've basically been uploading at least five days a week or um, you know, every single day I did I did Vlogmas while I had a full-time job. And then in January, when I started school again, I was making five videos a week while I was in class full-time. And the fact of the matter is, it's hard. You have to try really hard. All throughout December, I woke up at 6 a.m. every day so that I could edit and upload a video before I left for work. And then all through my last school term, I would stay up till one or get up at six to edit and upload that video, even while I had lots of other homework and that kind of thing to do. Overall, with your YouTube channel, with your creativity, you'll get out of it what you put into it. As with anything in life, you need to put just a ton of hours into something to get good at it. So if you are committed and if you know that this is something you want to do, I would definitely encourage you to think about ways that you can, you know, squeeze that time into your day, whether that be waking up an hour earlier or, you know, doing something during your commute whatever it might be for you to try to make sure that that daily upload happens. All right, now it's time for the part of the show where I recommend another motivational and inspirational YouTuber for you to check out if you need a bit more of a kick to start your Monday. This week's creator recommendation is Craig Adams. You might know him from the Wedding Film School. He is a very talented videographer based in New York City. He makes vlogs, he makes videos that are tech reviews, tutorials, all that kind of thing. In general, I think that he's just a really fun personality. He's not super stuffy and proper like some tech reviewers. He's not afraid to joke around, be a little weird, which I really appreciate. Recently, I totally nerded out over his minimalist guide to file management, and now I'm like convinced that I need to move everything to the cloud. So if you need a little bit more inspiration for your creativity this week, go over and check out Craig's YouTube channel. Trust me, you're going to enjoy it. 
All right, that's all for this week. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Motivation Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are feeling a bit more motivated. Remember to leave any questions or comments you have below so that I can talk about them on the show next week. Of course, like this video if you enjoyed it because I always appreciate the support and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's episode or any of my daily vlogs or videos about videography and creativity. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams. Remember to always keep creating and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.